Hey guys, what is going on? And welcome to a very jam-packed Fortnite OG video here on my channel. Now, today as you can see on screen, it is the start of Fortnite OG Week 4, which means a lot of changes to the loot pool, which we will go into in more detail in a moment. We have the new Week 4 quests, we have the return of Ballers, and we have the approach of our end of Chapter 4 event, The Big Bang, in which the Eminem will be making an appearance, performing a live, well, live in the live event. Uh, that is at December seven, uh, uh, December second at seven p.m. Uh, great uh, Greenwich Mean Time or Great Britain time, UK time, whatever you want to call it, two p.m. Eastern time, um, eight a.m. Pacific time, whatever time zone you want to go for. Now, you'll notice straight away we have a lovely new background um, in, the, in the lobby with our timer on. Uh, looks absolutely beautiful. Um, personally, big fan of it. Um, it's been looking that way since Tuesday though, I will confess. And we have our six new week four quests, which are fairly simple. Collecting ammo, traveling distance with your pickaxe equipped is pretty calm. Dealing damage to enemies with um, enemy players with your assault rifle is fairly simple. Searching a chest for ammo box within 45 seconds of landing in three different matches shouldn't be too hard to do. Outlast 250 opponents is very, very easy. Uh, the only one that might take you a little while is that bottom one there. Damage uh, 1500 damage to opponents from 15 meters or less might take you a little bit longer to do. You do have nine days. Um, by the time you guys watch this video, maybe around eight days. So, all in all, you've got the time. So, what map changes have happened today? The map changes are very simple. The meteor has returned in the skies above Dustin Divot um, in our seasons 9 and 10 blast off hotfix. We also have the time machine is now attached to the pocket nearby with the final audio log from Dr. Sloan, which we will be collecting in this video. And the zero point is now visible beneath Kevin the Cube at Loot Lake. So what loot pool changes come with that? Our loot pool changes are fairly simple. The following items have been bolted. They are a hundred like skin bombs, dynamite, clingers, mounted turrets, quad crashers, combat shotgun, drum gun, quad launcher, to redeploy, balloons, buried treasure, poison dart traps, and pirate cannons. So a lot of what got brought out last week is gone for this week. However, um, the following items have been unfolded from now until the end of the season. The infantry rifle, the drum shotgun, the proximity grenade launcher, the heavy sniper rifle, the junk rifts, storm flips, airstrikes, jetpacks, truck splashes, and haulers. So all in all, lots of loot pool changes, a lot of the fun gimmicky items are back. But this last week is about a pretty fun So we are going to use the time machine structure. I'm also going to try and find our full Sloan audio log. We'll show it for you guys so you know where to find it and we'll listen to it here in the video. Yet. 
keep the campfires burning, Jones. Oh. Wherever and whenever well, you go. After all of this time, it's somewhat bittersweet, but it's almost upsetting to hear that we might be ready to say goodbye once and for all to Jones, Sloan, all of them. For all of the launch points are here now, you guys will remember this all too well. For all the consoles, getting ready around the rocket. Audio logs that play out during the event. A rocket launching off using the meteor to smash into the zero point. Oh. That's not how it's going to happen this time, is it? We are rewriting the past to change the future. And, can I say, it's very intriguing to see how it's going to happen. Very interesting, indeed. We have the time machine ready and rigged up ready to launch with the rocket. Whether everything goes to plan, we have yet to see. Personally, I can't see this going to plan, because, let's be honest, that time machine doesn't look like it's uh, attached very well. But one thing I do find very interesting is the noises coming from that meteor. Very interesting to see and hear again. Honestly, I hope... As much as I've not so much enjoyed Fortnite OG, as much as some other people, I have been enjoying playing myself somewhat. But the key thing is I just hope that chapter 5 keeps a little bit of this nostalgic feel. Like the good old fashioned storylines and map changes throughout the season. I want that vibe back. That's my hope for chapter 4. I want Basically, chapter two. Everything in chapter two did just felt so natural. It'd be nice if we had that vibe back again. Chapter five. But I'm sure we'll soon find out. For now, let's head up onto the meteor, which I forgot was kind of meant to that zone. Place was. I'm gonna say the meteor does look a little bit better, like the particle effects and stuff around it look so much better now than they did back then, obviously. But we just have the superior engine now, so that's nice to see. And there he is. The entrance to the meteor in which we can see the visitor's pod. Our first introductions of the seven. This is where it all began. All of it. It, it is nostalgic. It's super nostalgic to uh, think about, really. This is the way we started it, shall we? The meteor, the rocket launch, the zero point, the cube, the visitor, Jones, all of it. Ending just the way it began. 
suppose that's the bitter irony of Fortnite. We broke the loop. We broke free from the loop. And yet, here we are in just a bigger version of it. It is, it is truly incredible. We're definitely causing anarchy, that's for certain. <laughs> right, let's go and check out our zero point, shall we? And it's worth noting it shouldn't be zone zero, so obviously with season X, the zero point was there because the mech had used its power to fight the monster which meant that the zero point was there, breaking, and that's why reality was destabilizing fats. But this time, the zero point's just there. It's not been damaged. So, it makes me question what the hell this means. Because, we all know the zero point is a dangerous, dangerous object in the world of Fortnite. The fact that it's right next to Kevin the Cube, which is another dangerous object, really concerns me. And the fact that the Meteor and the Rocket are here on the map at the same time. We have way too many potentially dangerous things going on at once. And you can't even go into the zero point, you can't use it as a rift like you used to. You can't even touch it. Final thing I want to point out to you guys. You guys might remember from chapter one. The mountain with the light on it. Well, you've just seen that light. And it's bright. The light is so bright that it's visible. Even when the storm. I don't know, I'm just trying to wind this person up. I'm sure.
really bright, it's hard to miss, even with the storm though. Are we going to finally find out what that light means after all this time? Who knows? The fact that it's visible even in the storm. I haven't noticed that so far this season, so that might be something new. But it might mean nothing. But keep your eye on this space, guys, because nine days time, we'll have experienced the Big Bang, we'll have experienced the end of the OG one, uh, Chapter 1 map yet again. And we'll know a little bit more about Chapter 5 here in Fortnite Battle Royale. But until then, it's all speculation. So, we'll see how things go as we get closer and closer to the Big Bang. Because who knows, they might start putting out some teasers and other such interesting things. But until then, like I say, we can only speculate. So with that in mind guys, thanks for watching the video, hope you found it informative, enjoyable and fun to watch as always, and I will see you all in the next one.